In today's episode, we're making a quesadilla burger. This recipe is inspired by my buddy Steve over at Dutchy Cooking. We start by making triangles out of our burger. I want to flatten these down as much as I can. And with my trusty knife, cut off a piece like so. Cut off a piece. And there we go. Triangle. Now we are going to get some shrinkage. I know, I know. I was in the pool. Come on guys, I was in the pool. Move that off to the side a little bit. I'm going to flatten it down just a little bit more. Making another one because Mrs. Dude is going to want one. We just took the excess burger from the last one. We do the same thing. We cut. We cut. Almost looks like a pizza. This one I'm going to cut along the back. And then we put it on the Cuisinart. We take our first one and put it down. Take our second one and put it down. Boy, these do look like pieces of pizza to me. All right, now we just let them cook. But with that said, I am going to take Mrs. Dudes and just sprinkle some salt and pepper over hers. And for mine, we're going to use some Uncle Steve's Smoke Bomb. His link's down below if you're interested in it. Any of his products, great friend of mine. And there you have it. Let him cook. We're going to give it our first flip. Look good. Now for our tortilla, we just want to go to about the center and cut. All right, so we get it like that. And for our first part, we just want to add some cheese. And we flip it. Then we add our burger, then we flip it. So in this particular case, because I've got uh, pickles and lettuce and things like that going here, I'm just going to leave it as is. So I'm going to flip it one more time. And we'll make another one. Now this one's from Mrs. Dude and it's going to be a lot smaller, but she'll be okay with that. Add some cheese. Okay, we flip it. We add her burger. Like I said, it's small, but that's fine. She'll like that. We flip it. And because we've got just lettuce and tomatoes and pickles going down here, we're gonna leave it empty. And there you go, just like that. Now it's time to put it back on the Cuisinart. The first one's down. second one's down. Now the Cuisinart is on low heat because we don't want these to burn but we do want the cheese inside to melt and that's why the cheese side is down. Wow look at that. That's got a great bottom to it. Flip it. That one's coming along. I just want to check and see how our meltage is going on. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Put that one back just a little bit, throw that in there. Nice and getting hard though, I like that. 
Okay, we want to give these a check. Let's let them go. Let's let them continue on. We're at the, I think we're at the point that these are about ready to come off and finish up. Yeah, let's remove them. Now that they're done, this is Mrs. Dude's, this is mine. We have a whole section here that is just ready for condiments, right? So for me, I like, ooh, well, I guess I like a lot of, of horseradish. That's all right, I'll live. I like some mayo as well. I like some pickles. Lettuce. Topped with a couple of tomatoes. There you have it. Our burger. Well, kind of a quesadilla burger, right? Wow. <laughs> wow. These are cool. It's just like everything is wrapped up, right? Like when you eat a regular hamburger on a bun, you got juice flying out all over the place, and that's okay, but you know what? This just holds it together so everything comes together. Mm. <laughs> that Uncle Steve's, that Uncle Steve's smoke bomb comes together too. That's good stuff right there. I'll put a link down below. The recipe's down below, guys. This is super simple to make, and actually I had a blast making this. I'm cutting those triangles out and seeing if I could make them fit right without too much shrinkage to putting the tortilla together to make this. I mean, this just comes together. All right, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope everybody's doing good out there. And... Like I said, remember the recipe's down below, and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care, guys.